What's up, everyone? Welcome to the April 23rd edition of DraftKings Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, you get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. Be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. We have a five game MLB slate tonight. Going to take a look at three of the top tournament stacks, three of the top tournament pitchers using the Top Stacks tool and the Top Pitchers tool on the awesomeo.com website starting at starting with the top stacks at number three the miami marlins are projected for a seven percent chance of being the top scoring stack only two percent aggregate ownership tonight going up against ian anderson and the atlanta braves anderson is a solid pitcher but as we've seen early on this season when you do have these condensed slates typically you kind of if you're trying to be contrarian at least you sort of just end up on some ugly offenses or um, alternatively some good offenses in in difficult spots this is kind of a combination of both Anderson's a good pitcher and Miami is not particularly good but they do have power in their lineup Jazz Chisholm Cooper Soler Sanchez Aguiar like those guys can still do some damage even if it's not the most likely outcome here since the start of last season um, Anderson has a 3.98 xFIP. He struck out 23% of hitters. He's allowed 1.1 home runs per nine. Uh, but as mentioned before, Miami just projected to go a little bit under owned here for the five game slate. Number two, the Los Angeles Dodgers, 10% chance of being the top scoring stack, 5% aggregate ownership going up against you, Darvish. We know that Darvish is a very good pitcher. He is also somewhat volatile. You've already seen it early this season, and you saw it, you, you've seen it in previous years as well. In his three starts this year, he has two starts where he threw 90 plus pitches and one start where he gave up nine earned runs. The Dodgers are a very high upside offense. Whenever they're going to be low owned, they are appealing in tournaments, and that's even more so the case when you only have 10 other or 10 total offenses to choose from. And number one, the New York Mets projected for 23% uh, chance of being the top scoring stack, 18% aggregate ownership. They have a very favorable matchup tonight against the Berto Castellanos and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona is just pretty much garbage top to bottom. And the Mets have a lot of power in their lineup. They, you know, in recent seasons were a team where they had one or two players like Peter Alonso that were going to look really good. But this year, it's just throughout the entire lineup. Not only do you have Alonso, you have Francisco Lindor back to hitting well, uh, Starling Marte who offers power and speed. Brandon Nimmo is at the top of the order. Um, and then even, you know, through the bottom, Escobar, Cano, Kana, uh, Jeff McNeil, all these guys have some power. So the Mets, even though they are getting ownership, uh, there's going to be multiple ways you can stack this team. Uh, some players obviously will be more popular than others. You can mix in some of those lower owned guys toward the bottom of the order to be contrarian while still getting to the team. That is projected to be uh, the most likely to, to be the highest scoring stack tonight. Now looking at the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Tyler Anderson taking on the San Diego Padres at $8,300. Anderson is relatively expensive and the matchup against the Padres isn't great, but we know the Padres are a little bit watered down right now because they don't have Fernando Tatis. Um, Anderson is making his first start of the season. He threw 59 and 55 pitches out of the bullpen in his first two appearances. He's likely to come in the 75 to 80 pitch range tonight against the Dodgers. Um, if this were a bigger slate, I wouldn't have much interest in Anderson, but the Padres do only have a 3.8 implied run total. Anderson has a 19% strikeout percentage uh, since or in, in his start since the beginning of last season. So not great strikeout stuff, but just a situation where uh, you're getting a little bit more ownership going to the pitchers that project a little bit better. I don't mind taking a chance on Anderson at relatively low ownership on a five-game slate. Number two, Eliezer Hernandez projected for 15% ownership with a 24% chance of being a top two pitcher. He is facing the Atlanta Braves, which we know is a relatively difficult matchup, but Hernandez does have good stuff. Um, Hernandez has struck out 23.1% of hitters, uh, sorry, 23.6% of hitters with a 4.3 XFIP since the beginning of last season. The biggest issue that he's had is over that time, he's allowed uh, 2.3 home runs per nine innings, but maybe he's somebody that we see helped by the dead baseballs and the humidors in every park. Now home run numbers have been down to start the season. When you have somebody that has good strikeout stuff and really has just been victimized by home runs, uh, somebody like Hernandez maybe offers a little bit more upside here at number one, you Darvish 23% projected ownership, 24% chance of being a top two pitcher. Not really seeing enough ownership go to Darvish or his opponent, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Already mentioned the Dodgers when we talked about the top stacks. But Darvish has a 28.5% strikeout percentage, 3.81 xFIP since the beginning of last season. If he's on his game, he's capable of carving up any lineup. And alternatively, if he's not locating well, uh, the Dodgers will do a lot of damage against him. So this is a spot where it wouldn't be surprising to see Darvish be great. It wouldn't be surprising to see the Dodgers be great. But 
it right now we have the field projected to kind of come in the middle and not get enough of either one. So to recap, the top three tournament stacks on DraftKings, number three, the Miami Marlins, number two, the Los Angeles Dodgers, number one, the New York Mets, and the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Tyler Anderson, number two, Eliezer Hernandez, and number one, Hugh Darvish.